Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about masking, which is really a fundamental step in a Korean skincare routine. Now when you think mask, you think sheet mask, right? And you're not wrong. Sheet masking is definitely one of the most popular masking options in K-beauty, but it's not the only option. We'll be talking about sheet masks today, but we're also going to be talking about the really expanding world of different mask types out there that really fit a lot of different skin needs and lifestyles. Not to mention masking styles. I mean, we've got those mask queens. You are masking on a schedule, no matter what, you are putting that mask on and I love your dedication. Then there's also the casual masker. You know, you pick up a mask when you wanna solve a problem on your skin quickly. And of course, we have our SOS self-help maskers. You throw your mask on to feel pampered, luxurious, and relaxed. You gotta get your self-care Sunday on. Now you might be thinking, look, Kelly, I just don't have 40 minutes to dedicate to a mask. I'm just too busy. And you know what, boo? I got you too. I have masks on this video that take less than a minute. What? Yes, I have masks for those people who have no time for masks. Everybody is gonna be covered in today's video. I'm gonna be talking about products and I'm gonna be sharing all of my best hints, tips, tricks, and best practices to get the most out of your masking experience. And massive shout out to Olali. They partnered with me on this video and they're really one of my favorite K-Beauty boutiques. They're based in the US and they have such a great curation of new and classic K-Beauty finds. So I've got all the info in the info box below. So if you're so ready to start this epic masking video, give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started. <music> So we got to start off with the classic sheet mask. I like to choose my sheet masks based on ingredients because it really helps me narrow in and target my skincare goals. Benton Goodbye Redness Centella Mask Pack is one of my favorite sheet masks that stars Centella. Such a great ingredient to go towards, especially if you're looking to reduce redness on your skin quickly. This is also a great mask to go towards if you want to reduce inflammation and irritation on the skin. Such a great one for acne prone skin or sensitive skin. Now this mask features a cellulose material and I find that this has such a great cling. Now cling is super important in sheet masks because the closer you can get that sheet mask to sit to your skin, the better the benefits are going to be. So definitely take the extra time to smooth out the wrinkles and the air bubbles, getting as close of a fit as possible. And one of the best ways to do this, if you have one handy, is one of those a jade or rose quartz rollers. Facial massage tools are great for sheet masks. They can really uh, roll out those extra air bubbles and wrinkles much faster than your hands can. Plus, there is a little bit of additional benefit if you want to go in for a little bit of a facial massage. It can help the essence absorb into your skin just a little bit better. Benton Snail Bee High Content Mask Pack has been a long time favorite of mine for many years. We go way back with this mask. And the reason that I reach for it so much, definitely the snail secretion. I mean, this is going to plump your skin, deeply hydrate your skin, but this also has a good amount of niacinamide in it. And you can see the brightening benefit with this one. When you take it off, your skin is gonna look so much more even toned. The material of this mask is 100% cotton, but it is a thinner 100% cotton. It's not too thick and it still has really good cling. It's, it's easy to get this one to mold to your skin. The fit is pretty good if maybe a little bit wide. Don't be afraid to cut that mask to size. A few snips with the scissors allow me to customize the fit, getting a much closer fit and a better end result from this mask. This also happens to be a fragrance-free mask, and I love to have this one on hand when I wanna see a nice visible brightening on my skin. This also has some really great benefits for acne-prone skin as well. It's undeniable that Mediheal is one of the most popular masking brands in Korea, and it's really easy to see why. They have so many classic masks. But one of my favorites from them is their NMF mask, or Natural Moisturizing Factors mask. I've 
been so in love with this for so long because it's a hydration bomb. Not only is this mask just absolutely dripping in hydrating essence, but you can feel it on your skin when you use this mask too. It will really perk your skin up a lot. Star ingredients on this mask that make it a hydration bomb are amino acids and water binding sugars. This mask does not contain any drying alcohol or essential oils, but it does have a little bit of artificial fragrance. Now the material of this is 100% cotton linter, but this is really interesting mask because the Mediheal logo is embossed in the material. And you don't see it right away, but as the mask dries on your skin, the logo will become more apparent. And it's actually a timer that indicates when it's time to take the mask off. And if you're somebody like me who always forgets when you put your mask on, this can be quite handy. Another longtime favorite from Mediheal is their DNA mask. This features a creamy and milky serum and it is deeply moisturizing and so so good for dry skin. Whenever I use this my skin just feels so balanced and so nourished and protected but it never leaves a heavy or greasy feel on the skin. The mask material is a little bit different from the previous Mediheal mask. This is a thicker cellulose material which is really ideal to get that creamy thicker serum um, onto your skin with good cling. It supports that serum really nicely. The fit of this mask is excellent. And just like the other Mediheal mask, this is generously drenched in the creamy serum. This does not contain any drying alcohols or essential oils, but again, we do have a touch of artificial fragrance in here. If you're somebody like me, who's just always cold, no matter what, no matter the temperature and putting on a sheet mask, it can kind of send a chill down your spine. It just feels kind of cold. If you're like me, consider running your sheet mask under a hot water faucet. This just kind of helps take the chill off the mask so when you put it onto your face you don't get that like shock to your system. Another really nourishing mask for dry skin is the Huxley Secret of Sahara mask. Now this is actually like a two-in-one serum. You have the cotton mask soaking in the serum solution but you get to mix in the oil to bring in all the nourishment. Now the oil blend features prickly pear oil which is actually really rich in antioxidants and vitamin E. And it's one of those really great nourishing oils that is pretty lightweight on the skin. Such an interesting masking experience. You fold up the bottom of the oil pouch, fold it up three times until you hear a pop. That is the oil seeping into the serum. Mix that all around. I like to let it just sit for a few minutes just to make sure that everything is soaked well into the sheet mask, and then you can apply to your skin. Now this is very nourishing and moisturizing. It really makes your skin feel quite balanced after using it, but it doesn't feel greasy. Don't let the oil scare you off. It is a very lightweight, very appealing oil texture and it definitely makes your skin feel just like filled with moisture from within without any greasiness on top. And just a heads up, this mask does contain artificial fragrance, but no essential oils or drying alcohol. Especially during the hot temperatures and heat waves, keep a couple of really reliable hydrating sheet masks in the refrigerator. Slap that baby onto your sun-stunned skin and it will cool it down in an instant. Who doesn't need more Centella in their life? Yurang, Sika, and Aputina mask. Now this contains 40% of Centella water along with 5% of prickly pear flower extract aka Aputina. It's a 100% cotton sheet mask that you add the serum to. It's meant to keep the ingredients really fresh and very effective for you. The mask is made out of a cotton material. I found it not my favorite material. It's not that bad though. It's just a little bit thicker, so you might need to uh, do a little bit more smoothing out to get this to fit nicely onto the skin, but very deeply hydrating mask and a really wonderful sensitive skin pick from your ring. This is essential oil free, alcohol free, and artificial fragrance free. Coming from the same line from your ring is the rose and hibiscus mask. This features 45% of rose water as well as 4% of hibiscus water and 1% of hibiscus extract, which has a lot of antioxidants in it. Now this also contains three types of hyaluronic acid and I found this one honestly surprisingly very good. 
very, very hydrating and plumping to the skin. And this is surprisingly another one that is essential oil free, fragrance free and alcohol free from Yurang. I really liked this mask a lot. I wasn't expecting much from it, but it was really deeply hydrating and it, my skin felt so refreshed and replenished from using it. Now, just a word about rose water. This mask does not contain essential oils. It does not contain artificial fragrance or any alcohols, but you will get a really light and fresh scent of rose, and that's coming from the rose water. There is some natural scent there. I found it really pleasant, quite honestly. It was not heavy at all. I'm somebody who doesn't use a lot of fragrance skincare, so it didn't overwhelm my nose. It was very pleasant and very realistic, and I actually really enjoyed it. Who said multitasking was bad? Multi-masking is where it's at. Throwing on some eye patches underneath your sheet mask is always a good use of your masking time. Speaking of eye patches, who doesn't love a good eye patch? They are so fun and luxurious. They make you feel so pampered when you're wearing them. Now, eye patches, in my opinion, are definitely no substitute for a really good eye cream, but they definitely can be fun to add into your routine and bring a lot of benefits for helping with perking up the eye area, plumping it up with hydration, addressing puffiness, and potentially helping with some dark eye circles. The biggest question about eye patches is which way is the right way to apply them? And the answer to the question is, both ways are right. Don't worry. If your biggest concerns for your eye area include creping and crow's feet around the outer corner of your eye, that's when you wanna apply your eye patch with the tapered edge or the pointed edge pointed towards your nose because you wanna put the biggest surface area of that eye patch towards your problem area, which is the outer corner of your eye. Now, if the biggest concern for your eye area is maybe eye bags or puffiness, maybe some dark under eye circles, place the largest round part of the eye patch towards the nose at the inner corner of the eye. And don't forget, you can put the eye patches on your nasal labial folds. That's that line running from the corner of your nose down to the corner of your mouth. Yep, we all have them. You can put your eye patches there to help plump up that line and smooth it out. And of course, if you have really puffy under eyes, you can put your eye patches in the refrigerator for a cool treat. Now we all have problem areas on our skin that we wanna address and masking can definitely help us with that. And one of my problem areas is definitely the pores, the enlarged pores on my nose that always fill up with gunk. One of the best ways to address it is with a clay mask. Clay masks are so good at sucking up impurities in the pores. But I actually have a uh, three-step way that I really ensure that that gunk is getting out and I wanna share it with you. So the first step is to steam your skin. Contrary to popular belief, pores do not open and close. They are not muscles. They can't do that. However, the sebum that is causing the blackheads and all the impurities deep inside of your pores, enlarging the pores, that actually can harden and it can melt. And that's really the goal with the steam is to help soften the sebum so that it's more easily extracted. And there's a lot of different ways that you can do this, but for me, the easiest way is to jump into the shower. So once your pores have been nice and steamed, apply your clay mask. Here I have the Dr. Seracle Jeju Matcha Clay Pack. Since my problem area is targeted just in my nose area or butterfly region, if you will, I'm only going to spot treat that area. Now, those of you worried that clay masks are too stripping for the skin and draw out too much moisture, this is definitely a much more gentle clay mask. It doesn't have a very stripping property to it. But one of the most important things to remember when you are trying to do a gentle clay mask process is to wash that mask off just a little bit before it's dried out completely. That will ensure that it doesn't take out too much necessary moisture. So when the clay is firm but not overly dry, you can rinse that off of your nose. And finally, follow up with your favorite oil cleanser. We're gonna do a little bit of a massage technique. Now, like attracts like. So oil cleansers actually help draw up more oil-based impurities in your 
pores. And we're just gonna massage the area for about a minute. You don't wanna go too hard or for too long. And I like to massage against the grain, which basically means to go in an inward motion towards your nose. And when you go inwards, you'll feel more of like the grits and the clogged pores will lift up just a little bit more when you go against. It gives that just good enough friction to help loosen up the sebaceous filaments, maybe some clogged pores, or just any additional junk that the clay mask did not suck up. Lips need love too. I have really dry lips and I love my lip sleeping masks. I rely so heavily on them. But sometimes I need a little bit more. I need a little bit more of a pick me up and a little bit more TLC. So that's when I'm gonna like to crack out a lip mask. This is Coco Star Cherry Blossom Lip Mask. And guys, this is fragrance free. What I really like about this mask is it's not too slippery. It's not too slimy. It's got really good cling. And of course, when I take that mask off, when my lips feel nice and plump, I like to top it off with some good old Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Now, for those of you at the beginning of the video who told me you just don't have the time for masking, this is your part of the video because I promised you some masking solutions that hardly take any time at all. And I feel you because masking definitely feels like it requires the luxury of time. And sometimes time, even 20 minutes, is a luxury for a lot of us. So for those of you who have less than a minute to dedicate to masking, I highly recommend you try a splash mask. The time it takes for you to splash your face with water is all the time you need to do this blithe padding splash mask. This is the rejuvenating berry version. This formulation is really good to help gently encourage skin cell turnover. It's got a little light exfoliation to it. This features a uh, berry extract extracts as well as lactic acid. Now, this is actually a very, very gentle formulation. You have to remember that this is a diluted formula. So you're just getting a little bit of that lactic acid to help make your skin a little bit brighter, a little bit clearer, and a little bit smoother. To use this mask, fill the basin of your sink with a little bit of water, and then add one capful of the Blythe Splash Mask into the water, and then just splash away. I like to use this in the morning because I don't use cleansers. I just wash my face with water in the morning. And so this kind of adds like a little pick me up to my morning routine without sacrificing any time. And if you're in a real big hurry, you can actually put this mask on in the shower. Just uh, put one capful into your palm and splash it directly onto your face, making sure to also splash some water onto your face as well to help dilute it. This is gonna give you a little bit more of a powerful uh, concentration of the mask, but it's just as quick and just make sure to rinse. Say you have more time than just one minute. Say you have three to five minutes. Well, if you have three to five minutes, then you have time to do a toner mask. This is one of my favorite tricks. It suits my skin. Every time I need to do a special treatment quickly, this gets the job done. Plus, it's super customizable. To make a toner mask, you're gonna need some cotton, like this Cosrx Silky Touch Cotton, and then just a toner essence or serum of your choice. So for this one, I'm gonna be using the Etude House Soon Jung barrier relief toner. And then apply the soaked cotton to your face. And I love this because you can put it on full face, you can just put it on problem areas. It's super customizable and it's really quick. You just leave the cotton on for three to five minutes. And what this does is it just helps concentrate the benefits of your toner, essence, or serum. Whatever product you chose, it helps it absorb into your skin just a little bit deeper, giving you that quick treatment like a sheet mask, but in a short amount of time. So I hope you guys enjoyed all those hints, tips, and hacks to make the most out of your masking experience. And massive thank you again to Olali for making this video possible. I have all the products we talked about in the info box below, so definitely check those out if you're interested. And let me know in the comments, what's your masking style? Are you the mask queen, the casual masker, the SOS self-help masker, or are you I have no time for masking masker. I must admit I am some combination of casual masker and I have no time. It just depends on where I'm at in life at that given time, but definitely a combination of the two. 
If you loved the video, but you haven't hit subscribe yet, please consider subscribing to my channel. I release two new Korean skincare videos every single week. Turn on notifications so you don't miss out on the new video. And hey, if you can't wait for the next video to drop, come join me on Instagram. I'm on there every single day posting about my skincare adventures. All right, I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.